The chef, free, simple driving. <laughs> Tips that could really improve your long game. And I'll be honest with you, I'm still amazed that people aren't doing these at the moment with all the information out there. These are easy. Number one, let's get a good wide stance. Let's get some stability in your driver setup. I want to make a huge, nice, big, aggressive turn. I see far too many golfers standing with their driver, kind of the same width almost that they would stand talking to someone on the street, comfortable, they get comfortable. They wanna get relaxed and comfortable. Guess what we see with these actions is we see sways, lifts, pull-ups, drop-downs, weak slice, low kind of drives. They're not set up in a way where they're actually dynamic and ready to go. The driver's swing should be quite an aggressive action. The driver's swing, the force is on this club as it moves around your body, as the head gets further away from you, as it moves quicker than any other club generally in your golf bag, are gonna be quite strong. You need to make sure you're ready for these forces. If you can pick up something heavy or just simply imagine this, this is a kettlebell, this is a 10 kg kettlebell. I am not gonna swing this back and this way and forwards from a really narrow, comfortable stance. As soon as I get that mask on this side, I mean, it, whoa, it just feels like it's gonna take me. I am gonna brace for what I'm about to do, the amount of movement and speed I wanna put in. So let's get a nice triangle forming with our legs to our hips and then out back to our shoulders. Too many of us are kind of around hip width inside of your two feet, get them outside of your hips. Again, this is gonna allow us to do the next tip, which is getting a much more stronger turn in there. And that leads us on to the next point. Let's make sure we are making a good, big, strong turn. So from this good width of stance, we need to get shoulders tilting as your body rotates. We need some good, strong movements. And the easiest way to do that is to try and imagine that you're getting your lead shoulder down tucked into trail heel. So I'm gonna turn my lead shoulder down, where if I look down over my peripheral vision here, it's coming almost down, tucking into the heel of my trail foot. So without the club, what I want you to do, just clap your hands together and try and feel like you get real premise on getting those shoulders really tilting down and the chest around. So I'm gonna feel like my chest is pointing to the back camera, but my shoulders, lead shoulder way lower than trail shoulder. And as I look down, it's trying to cover trail foot. I see so many golfers making actions where it's more of a sway. My lead shoulder's kind of pointing up and out over here somewhere. Remember, we've created that width for stance to get away from these actions. Now we're in this better place. We've got to create the action still the stance doesn't do it, it gives us the chance to do it. The good starts and the good tilts in the shoulder turn are gonna allow us to set some backswing where the club's more behind us. And we're now in a position to try and go down this way. And what we wanna do on the way down is try and make sure trail knee comes up to meet lead knee on the way through. Make sure we get those hips firing, firing in the way that they're rotating, firing in the way that there's a bit of bump as they rotate. We want this knee to catch up with this knee. Again, we see lots of students this way and then back here finishing. So they're kind of turning around trail leg. We need a bump, we need rotations. Getting trail knee to catch up with lead knee when the stance is nice and aggressive and wide is a slight exaggeration, but it often triggers way more aggressive downswings and follow throughs, which encourage better paths, better directional shots and better strikes. Using these ideas to improve your driver can lower your scores, but if you wanna lower your scores more and you think your driver is costing you, check this video out from my Break 80 series, because it's got all the answers of why this club might be letting you down on the golf course.